Yo, what's up YouTube? We're at the spot right now. The old mill. You guys have been here with us before. I'm really excited to be here. We got a rare, rare, beautiful day. Finally, a beautiful day here so we can go out and paint some stuff. So what we're going to do today is we're going to experiment with a few of the goals that we have on the site. Also, we are going to try out the Montana Whiteout again because some of you told me I was wrong. Touche. Let's take a look at the whiteout again and see what it's all about. And uh, we're going to paint a character. We're going to paint a gold piece. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. So come with us, hang out, get comfy, and I'll see you guys in a second. Now we got a great little assortment of paint here. We're going to be using primarily golds, browns, and some blues in this piece. You've been asking about that sect adapter, and I'm like, yo, we got to integrate the sect adapter into these videos. So I brought it with me today. I've also brought some blaster caps because you guys have been wanting to see what those are all about. And you know what? <laughs> They're awesome. All right, let's try it a little bit of this octopus real quick. Let's see what it's all about. Mm. It's so delicate, so tender. You don't find octopus like this in the, oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> The seagulls will love it. The seagulls will love that. <laughs> the wall has been killed, obviously. So we're going to bring it back to life. And in situations like this, it's nice to use some white to start sketching your stuff because it doesn't interfere with your things and it gives you a nice clear contrast to image over what's going on here. So let's get cracking. Y'all are waiting. Let's get to work. All right, guys, we're in a situation right now where we need to do our sketch. And in a situation like this, if you're doing an outline on a pretty grilled surface, in my, in my experience, generally, I just start using my fill color to do it. But to help people out, I think what I'm gonna do is use white because I think it helps people see what we're doing in this video. So we're gonna use white to start laying out our sketch. That way you can kind of see the bones of what's going on. Also, it's less intrusive. And this can actually be a technique that you use when you're doing your art. So when you're dealing with like a free wall or a, uh, a chill spot or a place where, you know, the wall gets kind of covered with a lot of stuff, sometimes it's nice to use a fresh coat of white to start, start chopping in your work. That way you can clearly delineate where you're going to put your color. Because once you have your sketch in, then you can start the paint by color process. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start lacing in the white right now. I have a, a can of Iron Lac and a, a New York Fat Cat. As you can see, it's a... Quite a beautiful cap on this can. So let me go ahead and start lacing in my character right now. As I've said before, I like to do my characters first, or my focal point first, and then I can start working on the other stuff. So let's go ahead and start lacing it in here. Now this is a part where you can be really free and just kind of loosely start laying stuff in. If you don't like the way it looks, don't worry about it. This is just part of the process. Again, we're using white right here. And as you can see, it contrasts nicely on this grilled surface. So it gives us a clean slate to work with. We're trying to chop in our letters, if you will. So let me go ahead and start lacing this all in and we'll catch you at the next step. All right guys, here's a great part of the video where I go into great detail about how I tested out all these different golds, but of course I forgot to turn the mic on, so we're just going to go straight 1970s kung fu style, and I'm going to voice over this whole part because, well, I shot it, we got to do something with it, and I wanted to talk about the gold. And so I've done a lot of testing with all the different golds we've had. I've tried the Iron Lack, I've tried the Flame, I've tried the, Mon 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 the Molotov uh, Gold Dollar, as well as a few different others. And I was not very happy with the bulk of them, to be honest with you. I found the gold to be rather saggy, um, loose, and rather drippy. But I tried this Montana Black Gold, and I was just amazed by how well it came out. It was so clean. It was so thick. It had a mirror-like finish, and it did not run or sag like the other ones did. Also, it had very low overspray for a metallic gold. I gotta tell you, that was very, very nice to see. Uh, the shade of it is a little bit more on the bronzier copper side than on the champagne gold, but as you can see, it's still very reflective. A very, very nice shade of gold. Look how it lays down right here. I mean, this, this gives pretty much any metallic a run for its money. I gotta tell you guys, I am very, 
very happy with it. All right, guys, I got some gloss ocean mist right here in the Rust-Oleum with a sec adapter and a ghetto blaster cap. Now, this is a combination for those situations where you really need to lay down some color. I have found this to be a very nice combination. Here, look at this. Look how the lines are laying down. This is gorgeous. If you need to cover in some nice background areas, get yourself a Ghetto Blaster and get yourself a Sec Adapter. With these two on the Rusto, you have some very nice thick coverage. Very happy with this, actually. All right, dope. We're gonna go ahead and start lacing in the wall. What this is gonna be is gold lettering on a sandstone wall. So right now I'm using Nougat. This will be my wall color. As you can see, it's very high coverage. The Molotov Browns cover Gorgeously, I love using them. I think I'm gonna drop down my 3D, so I'll keep this blank for now. And just start lacing in my colors. That. Cut back over the blue. You know what to do, baby, step by step. Just like the new kids on the block. Step by step, hey girl. Remember that song? I remember it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and lace this in. All right, dope. Let's go ahead and start lacing in some caramel. I'm doing a character right now. It is the perfect shade for what I need to do. I, I really like this caramel. It's like a nice medium skin tone. Kind of in between everything. It's in the middle. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start lacing it in. It is a nice thick shade, and it really does. It looks like caramel. It, that's what it looks like. Looks like beautiful caramel. It goes the distance. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying in some power blue. I'm gonna put some power blue on this headdress. And you have, if you haven't figured it out yet, we're going Egypt, baby. We're going Egypt. I'm doing uh, Thoth. Thoth. Forgive me for mispronouncing that. Man, look how this power blue covers. Oh yeah, baby, look at that, look at that, oh yeah. Yo, what's up? We're, good. We're getting some pretty good progress. <laughs> I'm using the Molotov Burner Black. And this is not tar, just so you guys know, it's not a tar spray paint. This is a very thick black. And unlike the covers all black, it really covers all. Not meaning to hate on covers all, but I kind of hate on it sometimes. You guys know I do. But this is, mm, look how thick it is. Look how thick this is. All right guys, I want you to see it up close right here. Check it out, look at this. Oh man, it is buttery black. Those who know can see what I'm doing right now, and it is a gorgeous, high filling black. It's not tar. It is the business, baby. All right, dope guys. We're at the part now where we're gonna go ahead and start laying in our outer outer. I've chosen to use crazy menthol. I've used this in a few of my Instagram stories, and people just go gaga over it. And for good reason. It's just got that kind of little bit of a magic to it. I mean, all the crazy colors do though. There's something about them. The way they come out, the way the line looks, um, it's just so smooth. I mean, it's just a gorgeous shade of teal. It just comes out like the business. Good stuff. All right, dope. Let's go ahead and start putting some shines on this. And I'm using the Montana Whiteout. Now, a couple people said I've been a little unfair and that I should give it another chance. So I'm doing it right now. And you know, it does make a good highlight white. Excellent for highlights, that is true. But I don't know if it'd be my first choice still. It's good. But is it the best? I'm not sure. I've really enjoyed using the flame blue and the flame orange for my highlights, that's for sure. But this is, this is pretty good. I'll say it's pretty good. It's a good highlighter. Just gotta be careful of the overspray, I've noticed. So just a little tinge of overspray. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Nice. 
I gotta tell you guys, man, I really love that crazy menthol. It went on so smooth and so even. Uh, I'd say my top three favorites out of this would be the crazy menthol, the power blue, and the Montana black gold. It just went on so thick and so even. Um, usually golds tend to be rather you know just a little bit on the runny side because the pigments are so heavy this stuff just lays down so even so flat you're going to get a beautiful beautiful coverage out of it and even outside of graffiti art you're really going to enjoy using this gold it's very very good um i like the way the thoth came out he came out really nice and uh, for those who don't know he's he is considered by the ancient egyptians as the inventor of writing the inventor of mathematics he was also the god that judged you when you died so when a pharaoh died um, he would weigh the Pharaoh's heart against a feather and if the heart weighed more than a feather that meant the Pharaoh led a wicked life he had a heavy heart you feel me and um, so if that was the case he would he would feed the Pharaoh's heart to an angry baboon who would eat it and he would be banished or I guess he would he would spend eternity gnashing his teeth in darkness I get enough judgment in the real world thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's go ahead and do the closeout, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Anyways, if you want to see any more stuff, be sure to comment below. We can travel all around the world of ancient history. Ancient China, the Hittites, Persia. There's so much history that we can we can explore here. So let's uh, let's let's go on a little trip in the next video and do a little bit more than that because it creates great subject matter, and I want you guys to be passionate about history. Hopefully as passionate as I am. Because this is the tapestry of our world, baby. This is who we are as human beings. So anyways, remember, subscribe, comment, love our videos, order from our Primo. Oh, oh yes, this is our Primo video, 206-365-4083. That's artprimo.com, your number one source for all things graffiti or art related. Whatever you want to do. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. See you guys soon. You better have a good reason for doing that, boy. It makes me feel like a big man.